Atlantic Monthly. It's time to talk about presidential succession and removing him under a civil emergency. They won't call it martial law. So I'm not calling for martial law. It's like Red Adair learned how to blow up oil wheel fires that were on explosive fire with explosives. You'd blow up the fire with fire to take the oxygen out and put the fire out. I'm saying under law, under the emergency powers that I pioneered exposing the last 23 years on air. Everyone knows that. They're like, you're the expert on martial law and police state, and now you want it. No, I don't. That's not what I said. They're the ones saying hashtag hunt Republicans. They're the ones saying we'll kill you in your houses. They're the ones gearing up for total war. They're the ones shooting people. They're the ones saying civil emergency. They're the ones saying 25th Amendment. They're the ones saying remove Trump. They're the ones saying kill Trump. <laughs> Michael Moore has come out with the wild conspiracy theory, the Daily Wire says, that Trump is testing the emergency alert system to everybody's phone that happened yesterday at 2 o'clock, 2.18 Eastern, because Trump's getting ready for martial law and a civil emergency to stop the election. And there's an article on Infowars.com where the left went compl completely crazy and, and, and said they're going to smash their phones and how dare Trump rape them this way, forcing this onto them. But let me give you the facts here right now. The EAS system is martial law. We've been under a civil emergency since 1933, the War Powers Act, and then it's been reissued every year since then, and it's only gotten more expansive under Obama. And they handed dictatorial powers to the presidency. That's why the left so panicked and blocking all of Trump's orders and saying he's insane because he could use the dictatorial power to stop all the things they've done like TPP if he realizes that power. And then he could have those powers revoked by Congress that have voted to give him those powers. That's getting rid of martial law. That's getting rid of civil emergency. Not calling for martial law like my detractor said I did three weeks ago. Technically, all of these are civil emergencies. The big mega corporations don't want to have a real debate about what they're doing and how they're stealing the future of you and your entire family. And it's because we are tomorrow's news today, because we first told folks about wireless chips built in uh, that the communist Chinese could then basically hack into over your wireless network. We have been penalized, we have been demonized, but we were the first to talk about that. And now it's all over the news today. Well, what else have we been the first to talk about? Obama put an internet kill switch in about eight years ago, about two years into his administration. And it was called the internet kill switch, and we were the first to talk about that. And Matt Drudge covered it as well. And people said, oh, that doesn't exist. And later they said, oh, it, it, it does. Or they can send emergency alerts to all your phones, turn your phones on, turn them off, take over all the radios, all the TVs. They've had systems like that since the 50s, but local stations would tune to one station that had the antennas and the feeds and the satellite dishes uh, to do it. But under Obama, everything got hardwired through it. And then Obama declared a series of national emergencies that got almost no attention, putting all these different systems under the control of bureaucracies, not under the Congress and not even under the president because they were meant to operate in case the president and the Congress were killed. But as you've seen, Trump is in office, but almost the entire government for the first year and a half or so ignored everything he said and did the opposite. He got a few things done through executive power and that turned a lot of things around. Now he's starting to get a little bit of executive control maybe 30, 40 percent, instead of 10 percent. And they're panicking because they know he'll write the ship. You'll be sold on the return of America, and that's it for them because people will have the epiphany 
the, the, the absolute awakening that the revelation that this was done purposefully. And that's why I bring you this next piece of information. And that's why this is so important. That's why I've been hammering on this. Notice you get next week's news today, next month's news today, next year's news today, and not because I'm that smart, because I'm studying what the real system's doing, the big mega corporations, the other power players, and the bureaucracy. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo. 1776 worldwide, self-determination, kicking Soros out of Europe. All the things you first heard here are now household topics. That's why I'm slated for destruction. Not because I'm inaccurate, not because I'm fake, but because I'm real. And, and I tell you that so that this whole spectrum of information you see out there, a lot of people get confused and don't know what to believe. Folks, don't believe me. Believe your memory. Believe everything I told you has now come true. Remember about three weeks ago we said Trump needs to declare a civil emergency because we're already under an emergency and under those emergency executive orders only a new emergency can countermand it and so you declare a new emergency to end the last emergency and you remove the emergency powers just like he did with the Trans-Pacific Partnership and they called him a dictator because he has dictatorial power over trade that was given to him by the Democrats and Republicans because they thought they'd have Hillary in. That was done the last few years of Obama. The president was pretty much made a dictator. But, but, it's sophisticated. And the average person just wants to score points because if you're anti-Alex Jones, Google, Facebook, Twitter will promote you. That's fine. Children can be children and be magnified by the B system. I will tell the truth no matter what. That's my North Star. I don't want martial law. I don't want tanks in the streets. I don't want lining people up and shooting them. That's what the left wants. That's what they're pushing. That's what they've always been desiring. And so they are trying to overthrow the president and the elected government. They're trying to use the COG systems that Obama put in place that Trump hasn't gotten rid of as the takeover mechanism, and they're using Obama and Hillary still command and controlling through big tech, through the State Department, and through stay-behind networks at the Justice Department and CIA to believe they're the legitimate government blocking Trump under the rubric of him being a Russian agent with no proof. As that dissolves and the economy comes back, As the economy comes back and as they realize what's happening, the globalists are going into total panic mode. So I'm going to explain it again. We've been under civil emergency since 1933 with the War Powers Act. It got more intense under almost every other president since then. And since the mid-1960s, we've been under a form of martial law where most of the regular law and due process doesn't operate and presidents declare a new emergency every year to operate outside of the Constitution. Trump's trying to bring power back to the nation states. He's trying to educate people about this. He's giving speeches about power back to the people, back to the states. But he's faced with martial law that Obama put in place, and now they call it civil emergency, national emergency, 25th Amendment, CNN. Removing President Trump under 25th Amendment is political Armageddon, martial law. Atlantic Monthly, it's time to talk about presidential succession and removing him under a civil emergency. They won't call it martial law. So I'm not calling for martial law. It's like Red Adair learned how to blow up oil wheel fires that were on explosive fire with explosives. You'd blow up the fire with fire to take the oxygen out and put the fire out. I'm saying under law, 
under the emergency powers that I pioneered exposing the last 23 years on air. Everyone knows that. They're like, you're the expert on martial law and police state, and now you want it. No, I don't. That's not what I said. They're the ones saying hashtag hunt Republicans. They're the ones saying we'll kill you in your houses. They're the ones gearing up for total war. They're the ones shooting people. They're the ones saying civil emergency. They're the ones saying 25th Amendment. They're the ones saying remove Trump. They're the ones saying kill Trump. Kill his family. Kill everybody. No one's safe in their houses. They're the ones, ladies and gentlemen. And so I'm saying we have to get informed on this and understand it. And the reason I bring this up will cover coming up. And then I'll get into Tim Cook, the most evil man in the world. Literally. Keep a key individual. We're going to look at why the left's claiming that EAS alert is martial law. Because you know what? It is. Exactly. And notice we're already under it, dumbasses. I'm not saying that to our audience. I'm saying that to the little globalist minions. Electrify your day with Secret 12. It's like lightning in a bottle. We all have days in which we just can't seem to perform at the level we'd like to. InfoWars Life Secret 12 is designed to naturally energize your body and mind with two great tasting and super high quality forms of vitamin B12. Proper vitamin and nutrient intake is essential to keep your body functioning at optimum levels. The reality is, it's hard to take in the proper amount of vitamins we need each day with our modern diets. Secret 12 by InfoWars Life is an easy way to naturally upgrade your vitamin B12 intake and support your body's natural systems. It pairs two forms of vitamin B12 into one explosive formula. Vitamin B12 supports healthy energy levels through red blood cell formation and aiding in the body's natural processes, but it also assists with many other functions of the body. Electrify your mind and body and take your health to the next level. Experience the power of Secret 12 at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com.